Hey, I'm back again with another video. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna do this really quick for Brandon. Um, me and him did a trade a while back in July when he was down, a while back in July when he was over, and um, I gave him a whole bunch of my cut box will call same videotapes they didn't want. Cause I'm not a big fan of cut boxes. And um, he traded me, but gave me a bunch of DVDs that he picked up at a flea market. We did a trade, and um, he sent me these, and I gave him, gave him a bunch of cut boxes because I'm not really a big cut box guy. So um. Here's the ones he sent me. So I got two copies of the Great American Bash 04. Good pay-per-view. I really like that one. It's got JBL against Eddie Grover. JBL finally beats him for the uh, WWE Championship. Got Judgment Day 04, which has also got uh, JBL versus um, Eddie Guerrero. That was one of the bloodiest matches of all time. Got that one. Got No Mercy 02 with Brock and Undertaker in Home Cell. And also... Um, Got Triple H versus Kane winner takes all Intercontinental Champion versus uh, World Heavyweight Champion. That's a good pay per view. Got Unforgiven 2002, Rock and Undertaker. That was before Hell in the Cell. That's when Undertaker, I think, throws him through the um, like through the uh, the stage uh, the stage of the Unforgiven sign or whatever at the end of the match. I'm pretty sure like he just throws him right through the wall or whatever at that one. I'm pretty sure that's the same one. But yeah, this is a pretty good pay per view as well. This is the big one. This is my favorite one that I got. It was No Mercy 2001 because this is an old WWF. It's very hard to come across the old WWF scratch logo ones now, like for a good price. And uh, this one's this one's got some good stuff on, like Rock versus Chris Jericho WWCW Championship, Stone Cold versus Rob Van Dam, Kurt Angle Triple Threat Match for the WWF Championship. Um, it's got that lingerie match between Tori and Stacey, which was really good. Really good. I remember that one. Um, ladder match Christian versus Edge. So this just got some good stuff on it. So I can't wait to get around to watching that one again. I seen the back of the paper back when it came out, but I haven't seen it in like since forever. I'm looking forward to watching that one again. Got SummerSlam 2002 Rock and Brock, and the first ever John Cena DVD, which has the insert and everything still inside. That was John Cena's first ever DVD. So anyways, guys, yeah, I just wanted to make this really quick. I know I really didn't go into too long into detail with these because I really didn't feel like going into really too long of a detail on these ones, but yeah. These are the trades that I, he gave me for a bunch of the cut box Coliseum videotapes. I think I did pretty good. Because me and I don't collect color cut boxes anymore. Hold well, on, let me try to turn these up so I can show you on the sides here. There you go. Yeah, so these are all the ones that I got from him in the trade. I'm really happy with the ones I got. And he got a bunch of um, cut box Coliseum videotapes that he wanted. Some more pay-per-views and stuff like Survivor Series and Summer Slams and whole bunch of cut ones. I think I even threw a couple of clamshell ones, but they're kind of not in the best condition, but Brandon really didn't carry them, like TNT show, and um, I think another one inside the steel cage or something. The cases are a little bit beat up, but Brandon was happy to get them. So anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video. So this was just a quick video of this one. My first video I'm going to do today, I'm showing my WWF slash WWE DVDs. I did my trade with Brandon, and I'm out.